the human species has grown reliant on fossil fuels and it's killing us. I hope someday we won't need fossil fuels like gasoline, coal, and diesel to power our automobiles for trucking in power plants or for heating our homes. Fossil fuels aren't renewable and burning them causes pollution which has harmful effects. I'm Liliana and I have been an East Boston resident for 25 years. I have three children that have been born and raised here in East Boston. In areas like East Boston and Winthrop, the biggest source of pollution comes from Logan Airport and airport related traffic. And each year as the airport grows, they report rising levels of nitrous oxides, carbon monoxide and other pollutants. It's having a huge impact on the health of our planet and our own bodies. Pollution from planes and cars also contain ultra-fine particulate pollution or UFPs, a type of particle that's so small that they can enter the bloodstream. When these microscopic particles get into your blood, they act as irritants and your body's immune system activates to fight them. The pollution, gases, and soot from airplanes are linked to health implications including asthma, COPD, cancer, premature birth, behavioral and learning problems in children, autism, and early onset dementia. Nobody knew about ultrafine pollution 10 years ago, but today, environmental engineers like Scott Hersey and many others are now collecting data in our area and we know true level of exposure. A study in Los Angeles showed elevated levels of ultrafine pollution directly below the flight path of their airport and ours is no different. When we are downwind of plane taking off or landing, concentrations of ultrafine particles or UFPs reach the concentration which experienced standing in the middle of I-93 at rush hour times 10. It's also not just outdoors, as much as 70% of that pollution makes it indoors. Environmental justice is part of civil rights. We have the right to breathe safe air. About five years ago, I started feeling sick. I was very tired, needed longer naps, day naps, you know, and I, I knew something was not right with my body. I decided to have myself checked out and after many visits to the doctor, I was diagnosed with colon cancer. It's, it was very hard. So after genetics tests and other exams, I was advised that it was due to an environmental cause. I decided to learn more about what are environmental causes and that's when I learned about air pollution and how is the air pollution in my neighborhood. I am learning more every day and gathering as much information as I can to learn how to protect myself and my family for the future. Out of three children of mine, two of them suffer from asthma and myself. We notice that when we are at a park and we're having fun, so many airplanes come in and out of the airport and I notice coughing and trouble breathing. So we have to cut our fun time shorter and come indoors to take care of ourselves with our inhalers. And some of us do have additional medications that we take. So we try to stay indoors as much as possible, which is sad. Sometimes when I go to the park, I smell gas and I cough uncontrollably because the airport's very close to our house. When I smell like uh, gasoline or like smoke, I rush back into the house. When I'm the like, only one lay in the park as mine and I have to go back home, like, I feel sad. 
Um, asthma affects me because of my breathing. Can't really run around. I need to take like a lot of breaths. I get tired out easily because like I can't really breathe that well. If I get really sick with asthma, it's like if it's really bad, I have to miss school. My youngest child has struggled in school in some areas of development. I'm trying to learn how is that connected to air pollution and how it affects the learning and development of children. We had the highest COVID rates in Boston. We have one of the highest populations of essential workers and also high asthma and other respiratory and cardiovascular rates. We suffer with pre-existing chronic disease from living under the flight path and we suffer so much more with COVID as a result. I'm not willing to look the other way anymore and I don't care if the flights are down and things are tough for the airlines and the airport, there are things I can do. This is why I have joined Mothers Out Front East Boston who are working with Air Inc on real solutions to protect our community and ways to advocate for ourselves. These solutions include the Air Partners Air Quality app that can tell you when the air is clean and an air filter campaign for our public schools. Air filters can reduce exposure to UFPs by up to 80% and all the evidence suggests that this is the most cost-effective and best way to protect against poor air quality and ensure an equitable academic environment for our children. We can also raise our voices through letters and testimonies and we can organize and support legislation that calls for mitigation and measurement of UFPs. This is why I'm using my voice to let you know that there is time to learn and there is time to move and do something about this. We have to stand up as Latinos, we have to learn more as Latinos. It makes me feel better knowing I can take action and have the power to protect and advocate for myself and my family.